everybody, it's time to talk about the fastest boy in the game. It's Goss or Gauss or Goss or however the hell you want to call him. Anyway, Q angry comments. It's not Goss, it's Gauss or the other way around, I don't know. Now, we're looking at a zero form of build and it's actually taking me a while to figure out how to build him because I had one build, but then I kind of thought maybe I'm massively massively um waiting it to power strength for no reason so i've decided to go for a massively weighted towards power duration zero form of build the idea is to be able to use kinetic painting which is a second ability kinetic plating and red line which is your fourth ability as long as possible as much as possible okay so one two duration mods natural talents self-explanatory flow seems to be the only good thing i have left to put in there that's only worth nine drain so might as well put it in there uh intensify although i get the feeling that power strength is not 100 percent necessary in uh, a build for goss as long as you keep it at 100 percent should be all right streamline stretch self-explanatory redirection for the uh for the extra shields goss has 450 shields base 300 health base so he's more of a shield based warframe than a health based warframe that's why i feel like putting redirection is a little bit better than putting something like vitality and also by doing so we also get to use something like arcane aegis which i think is a, is pretty good so energize aegis that's what behind that's what's behind me anyway that's enough of the build let's get into some demonstrations so for this demonstration, we're actually going to be going up against level 135 Corrupted Heavy Gunners as opposed to level 100 Corrupted Heavy Gunners because everything that I'm about to demonstrate, you can easily do against level 100 Corrupted Heavy Gunners as well. So, seems the idea is to activate your second ability, activate your fourth ability, and then start running. Running, 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 running. Try not to smack into a wall too much. And then... If we look at the bottom right hand corner of the screen, see the meter, we're trying to keep the blue part at the top as much as possible. That is the aim of the game right now. One thing to note, if you decide to go for a high duration build in much the same way that I have right now with this zero forward build, it will actually take longer. It will take longer for you to build up that meter all the way to 100%. But in the meantime, we are now able to do a lot of things when we have 100% meter and we also have kinetic plating on at the same time. We're able to basically get a lot of energy back but once it expires, you need to be in a safe, sp safe space because you need to go and run again. And when our meter is at 100%, I guess we kind of just keep moving so that our meter doesn't drop. If we happen to get hit, that's okay. Just keep moving. Just shake it off. Just shake it off. Just shake it off. Just shake it off. We just need to run a little bit more because our blue part of the meter is starting to go down. Keep running, keep running, keep moving, keep moving. We're getting shot. See the meter go down. Keep going. Up. Oh, is that 100%? That means we don't need to worry about anything anymore. Hooray! Because now we get to have fun at one of the more fun things about uh, Goss, which is his third ability. When you have 100%, what you want to do is you want to start off with a cold proc, activate a heat proc. And then you want to activate some blast procs by combining heat and cold together because the blast proc from the uh, thermal sunder ability when you have more than 100% power strength strips armor completely when you have 100% battery <laughs> which makes it really really strong so that is the power of goss okay just a quick demonstration on the power of goss what you want to do is you want to activate a heat proc then you can bring in a cold proc. Heat proc. And then you can stack the heat procs. Stack the heat procs and they're all dead. The idea is that when you use cold, which is just by tapping the third, third button, and then when you activate heat by holding the third button, that actually gives a blast proc. And that blast proc strips armor. 
and that armor stripping is dependent on the amount of battery you have as well as the power strength that you have so as long as you keep that power strength above 100 percent you're able to strip everyone's armor which makes it really really strong okay so let me know what you think about him and everything that you've seen here and let me know if you have any changes you would make to the build in the comments below otherwise if you like this video hit that like button subscribe for more warframe content and until next time i will see you guys later thanks for watching bye